from confinement to the confinement of magnet monopoles in artificial rectangular spin-ice. In 2006, a group from Penn State University built an artificial version of the spin-ice materials by using elongated magnetic nanoelements organized in a square lattice. Each nanoelement contains a net magnet moment, spin, that has an easing-like behavior. Therefore, in each vertex, there are four spins and the energy is minimized when the ice rule is obeyed. Two spins point in and the other two point out, or two in, two out. However, differently from the natural spin ice, the ice rule is not degenerate for the square only. Indeed, from the four possible topologies, topologies one and two obey the ice rule, but topology two has more energy than topology one. Then, the ground state obeys the ice rule which alvers in topology one. The first question is, may the excitations exhibit the phenomenon of fractionalization as occur with natural spin ice, in which apparently indivisible microscope degree of freedom falls to peace? I mean, may magnetic monopoles be present in these systems? The first excited state arises when, in a particular vertex, the ice rule is violated. It creates two adjacent vests in which one has three spins point in and one out, while the other has three out, one in, both in topology three. This excitation is effectively a pair of neighbor opposed magnetic charges separated by one lattice spacing. If you want tries to separate the charges more and more without further violation of the ice rule, an energetic string arises in the separation pathway. Due to the energetic string, this larger excitation is more similar to a pair of Nambu monopoles in contrast to Dirac monopoles. In this work, we show that the deformation of the square lattice can solve this difficulty. Thus, we suggest that the fabrication of samples with an intentional change in the lattice space on the original square ice, A and B respectively, may take the system to the ice regime depending on how the lattice is compressing or stretching, radio A over B. Differently from the square lattice, which has four topologies, in the rectangular ice, there are in general five topologies, T0, T1, T2, T3, and T4. Other extra characteristic of the rectangular lattice is the presence of residual magnetic charges, even for vests obeying the ice rule. It also depends on the ratio A over B. Only topology T1 does not have residual charges, but it has residual magnetic moment. Considering A over B bigger than 1, the ground state of the rectangular lattice will exhibit residual charges in all vertices if A over B is smaller than the square root of 3. These charges alternate from north to south in adjacent vertices in such a way that the total charge of the system is zero. On the other hand, if A over B is bigger than the square root of 3, instead of charge, the ground state has residual magnetic moment in the vertices. Again, the total magnetic moment of the system is zero. There is, therefore, a ground state transition which occurs at A over B equal to the square root of 3. In this case, the spins around the vertex become equidistant and the topologies T0 and T1 have the same energy. Then, the magnetic monopoles are not connected by energetic strings anymore. The string tension vanishes and the poles become deconfined. In summary, we have shown that the lattice geometry in two dimensions can be modified in such a way that the artificial rectangular spin ice finds the ice regime or state very near it for A over B equal to square root of 3.